Good morning and welcome back to HBTV for the week of June 14th, 2021. I'm Anya from Miss Hughes' class. And I'm Brianna from Mrs. Hughes' class. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you had a great weekend. The word of the month for June is responsibility. Responsibility means doing what you're supposed to do without being asked. A quote, as I mean, a quote for responsibility is responsibility is accepting that you're the cause and solution of matter. Here's the weather for the week. Monday, chance of rain and thunder, 73 degrees. Tuesday, a blend of sun and clouds, 75 degrees. Wednesday, times of clouds and sun, 74 degrees. Thursday, partly sunny, 78 degrees. Friday, showers and tea storms, possible 81 degrees. Special events, Monday, field days, Tuesday, morning program, Wednesday, third grade f- field trip for Greenwood, Thursday, morning program, EK f- field trip to Ross Park Zoo, fifth grade, che- fifth grade uh, trip to Green Peak, first grade carnival, kindergarten first responding day, Pearson Rosak classroom party. Friday, Chambers is having a classroom party. Cudges is also having a party. Up next, let's hear from Mrs. Buchanan. With us today is one of our favorite teachers, Mrs. Buchanan. Welcome to HBTV. We heard that you are retiring this year and wanted to talk to you about your experience. How long have you worked at Main Enroll? I've worked at Main Enroll for 23 years. What did you enjoy or like about working at Main Endwell? I love your Homer Brink teachers. You guys are so lucky. You get to stay here and be with these teachers. They are amazing. <laughs> Anything else you miss? I'm going to miss every day coming in and seeing the smiles on their face and trying to make the kids laugh or the hugs. Do you have any other funny stories you'd like to tell or people you'd like to say goodbye to? Oh, I don't want to say goodbye to anybody, so let's leave that. I, every day is a funny day with these guys. With you guys are so much fun. All the kids here, every day is a funny story. I have probably more than I could ever tell. Um, But one of the fun things that I did is the volcano when we made pasta. I don't know if you were, we made a big flower volcano and put as many eggs as we could in there. And then I let the kids squish it with their hands. And they loved it. Thank you so much for all the time you gave us at Home Break. Your fellow teachers will remember you as hardworking, caring, a great baker, and kind. Aw, that's sweet. That's what they are too. Fun, loving, kind, and caring. Thanks, Miss Buchanan. We will all miss you. Lunch for this week is Mons- Monday, cheeseburger on a bun and hot dog on a bun. Tuesday, taco salad and chicken patty on a bun. Wednesday, grilled cheese sandwich with additional string cheese and hot dog on a bun. Thursday, meatball sub and chicken patty on a bun. Friday, cheese pizza, square. Next, we have some highlights from last week's third grade glow parties, flag day, same this week, and fourth grade immigration days. Today, I'm here with Zoe Anastas. Zoe Anastas, um, when you went into your classroom, were you amazed by what happened to the glow day and how it was, like, amazing? Yeah. Um, do you thank your teachers for doing that? Yes. Okay. Um, what do you have to say for the second graders that might be doing Glow Day? Um, have, have a fun time. Good job. Um, three, two, one. Thank you, Thank teachers. You teachers. Hello, we're here with some students that participated in Glow Day. What is your name? Clyde P. Ingram. I'm Jeffrey Daly. I have a couple questions for you guys. What is one thing that you like about Glow Day? How we get a color neon and we wear a neon. How our classroom is a black light. 
do you have anything to say for the first grader, well, the second graders that will soon participate in Glow Day? I hope that they have a fantastic time. Same with me, but I think they'll have fun with the activities. Thank you so much, and I hope you guys have a wonderful time. What are you guys' names? I'm Annabelle. And I'm Jordan. Okay. Hi, Annabelle and Jordan. Um, so today I'm going to have you guys here to talk about the glow. Mm-hmm. Go away. Okay. Um, did you help make it? Uh, well, no, our teacher kind of made it. Oh, when okay. we walked in, most of the stations were set up, but we kind of helped with the tic-tac-toe, like we helped make the O's and the X's. Okay. Do you like the glow? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, it's okay. very cool to see the whole classroom just glowing. Do you think it's, do you guys think it's nice that she invited every, every class to go into it? Yeah. Yes. Thank you guys. I hope you had a, have a great day in the glow down. Thank you, Ms. Burkhart. Thank you. Hi, we're here with Mrs. Garupa. Hi, Mrs. Garupa. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Great, thank you. Um, she's one of the teachers that created Glow Day along with the other third grade teachers. And how did you guys just create it? What did you guys think of? Well, you know, this time of year can be tough. Everyone's excited about summer and ready to, to end the year. So we all just kind of came together and said, how can we make the last couple of Friday's fun, uh, and this was kind of our first adventure, Glow Day. So we um, gathered some materials and um, kind of integrated some um, learning in with it as well. Um, and so we have, uh, they're playing Glow Tic-Tac-Toe. We have area, um, area capture game with highlighters. Mm-hmm. They have um, a packet of learning, it's called Glow What You Know. Um, and when they use the highlighters, they glow, and it's just just a fun way to do some learning at the end of the year. I think I can speak for every third grade teacher, I mean every third grade student, and say and give you a big thank you for everything that that you did today, and every teacher that did this. And I think this is absolutely amazing, and that for people that didn't have the um, the opportunity last year to do it. And I think this is cool that you guys gave me the opportunity, even though there's a pandemic. It's wonderful. And Miss Burkhart, kudos, shout out to Miss Burkhart. She uh, she did a lot of the prep work um, and planning, so she should get a lot of the credit for this awesome day. Well, that's the end of the interview. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and see you next time. <laughs> Hi, um, do you think it's fun that the teachers are doing integration there? Yeah, I honestly think it's really fun because the kids get to feel like what it was like 
in Ellis Island and feel what immigrants felt. Okay. I know that the other, the fifth graders now didn't be, were, a, were able to do that. So do you think that's fun that you guys get to do that? Yeah, I was really excited for this because it's really fun. I think because the teachers set it up so well. So yeah. Thank you. Um, so today is Immigration Day. Do you think it's fun? Yeah. Do you think it's nice that teachers do this a year? Yeah, it's really fun. Um, is there, do you think that it's nice of them really to do this? Yeah, it's pretty nice of them. Oh, uh, thank you. Um, I know that the fifth graders now didn't be, wasn't able to do that. Do you think it's fun that they get to do it? It is a lot of fun. I think kids always love it. And I'm sorry that fifth graders didn't get to do it last year. Um, why did you guys start to do immigration day? About nine years ago, we started doing immigration day. Very good. Uh, have okay. you, do you, you think they have a lot of fun each year? Every year. It's a lot of fun. I think kids are really nervous America, until they get up here and start trying it. Government. And it gives them a, a really, really good feel learn. for what immigrants in 1908 okay, really went through. Now you cannot, it's scary, but you, fun. You must Thank you, Mrs. Lunenberg. Thank you, Bree. I've wanted to open my eyes. I've wanted to open my eyes. Why did the math book look so sad? Why? Because it had so many problems. <laughs> Signing off, I hope you enjoyed this weekly news. Well, there's still one more thing. Remember, starting the country, Reese for Excellence!